Okay, so in the last video, we talked about how to actually restore a Factory Talk HMI application and how to do that on Site Edition, right? So this is Factory Talk Site Edition. So I want to show you my best practices on how to back one up again, because how did I get those backup files, right? So it's just in best practice for you to to know how to do this properly. So again, this is the exact application we did. So go back and watch that video if you don't if you didn't see it. If you recall, we did the um, instant fizz, right? So I'm going to show you again. We're still connected. Still, uh, everything's still working. No worries, though. What we're going to do is we're going to come in here and make a backup. So we're going to come into the same file location, and we're going to call this uh, instant inst instant fizz, and we'll call that instant fizz HMI, and then we'll call it underscore backup. And then we'll put the date on it. So it's 6 uh, 26 2001. All right, so we have a location right here. So now we need to open up our Factory Talk Administration Console and we're going to get our Factory Talk Administration backup. Now let me show you how to do this. Okay, so we're going to choose again our uh, net, what kind of directory are we? Factory Talk directory, right? We're in network directory. Again, if you're local, just sw switch to local. Same process. All right, so when we go down to this, this is going to open up our all of our applications in our network directory, right? So as you see, I have a lot of applications in here. I'm going to pick the one that we did before. I'm going to right click it. It's just that simple. I'm going to go down to backup. I'm going to choose the file location that we just made, right? So I'm going to go down here and choose the file location in my desktop. So I'm going to open up a desktop, I'm going to choose my file location, and I do believe it is in my Studio 5000 projects, right? No, it's actually in, it's actually in the Instant Fizz application right here. Alright, so this is in this location, let's verify that, that it is here, this is actually the PID. Actually, yeah. Let's 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 put it in the PID folder. That's the one I had it. Um, actually, I made a mistake and put that file. We'll just move it. But I made a mistake and put that in the PID uh, testing folder. So um, and we will be having videos coming out on that too. So here we go. It's right there. We have our our location. We're gonna pick a location and then we're gonna click OK. Now this is gonna make a admin backup, right? A Factory Talk administration backup. So we click OK and now we're done there. We're finished. So let's go in here and we do have our backup, our .bak. So now we need to open up our uh, the HMI server backup and restore. And we're going to do that. We're going to hit backup. We're going to pick our app application. It's going to automatically open up to the file location. We're going to go down to the file location that we have. Again, this is the one we made today. So I'm looking at the date here gonna open that one up I'm gonna go down to the dot sed file and I'm gonna pick that and I'm gonna hit, hit open and then I'm gonna come down here where it says destination to backup that's where we're going to send the backup to now I'm gonna pick the same folder that I picked before again so this is that PID folder um, which I misplaced right so this is the instant fizz backup and the date this is why I put the date on it so that I can find it um, it's very helpful too to, when you start making a backlog of these things. You, know, you can come back and f you know figure out where were you at, right? So then all we're going to do right here is going to hit start backup. We're going to back up the folder, and this is going to give us all the files that we need. So with that said, now we can come in here and double check this. Now I will say there's a there's one thing you need to look out for, and that is to make sure this uh, there's a there was an old tech note I believe from Rockwell Tech Note. It said if it was like a, a weird number like 103 or 104 or 100 something like that, um, that it could be corrupt. Now, that does not mean that it is. It just means that it is. It, it could be, right? That was only on version like I think it was Factory Talk 6. Um, but anyway, we're on Factory Talk 10. So we shouldn't have that issue anymore. But just keep in mind these kilobytes right here. If that is 103, I believe the number was 103, then it could be corrupt. Um, just make sure that you 
you know, you double check that it is. Like, go ahead and kind of reconstitute it, make sure it's good. Or, um, you know, go ahead and do the restore on another computer to make sure it's good. But I would definitely double check it if it is 103 kilobytes. Anyway, coming back to this, these are the two files that we need. We need the BAK file, which is our admin backup. And then we need the factory talk application itself. So we're going to utilize both of these. And again, that's our full backup. So now we can move this back up where we need to. We can come back and put it on our desktop. Like if we want to copy, just copy and paste that, and put it on our desktop right here. And then we would have it right there. So now it's right there. So we can move that to another another computer, another place, whatever we want to do. Matter of fact, if any you know anybody wants that, I could just uh, you know basically make a zip file and give it to you. But that's just going to be the HMI backup. That's not going to actually be the actual file. You know, with all the um, the folders. I believe it was the instant instant fizz up here that we had that folder in. And this is the file. If I copy that, that would be the whole application but the, the thing about this is, is this is version 31 so this is v31 and this is factory talk 10 so the whole application now if I were to rename this this folder I would rename this folder um, let's just say uh, FT view FT view 10 so that I knew when I opened it, this this was FTView 10. Everything in here was FTView 10. And this I would change change the name to this uh, to underscore V31. And then I would open that just to make sure it opened because it, again, when you rename it, sometimes outside of that, I like to re just make sure it opens. But again, this is the, just how to back up files, right? So we're making sure we're, we're properly sequencing things, making sure things are working properly, right? When when you think about it, you got to have the right files, right? Making the files is putting in the work and doing the hard work already. So just making sure you do your due diligence and backing your files up is really highly important. So making sure they work too. So now we have all the files in one location. I can easily, if I wanted to, send that. I can zip it up. And have a zip file and then I can have a, a file here that I can use and give to anybody anywhere so um, with that said though but that's how you back up a factory talk HMI application a factory talk site edition HMI application on the network distributed at, and and it could be local distributed or local as well you know that's the same exact process so again these are best practices that I have learned over the last literally these are the, the things I've used personally for the past five to six years and it for that for the the time period before that it was me learning all of these things right so I, I come, kind of mushed everything together and kind of made something that really kind of worked and has been the best practices for me so I want to share that with everybody and see if this can be the best practices or maybe you can add stuff to this to make it best practice for you as well so with all that said we'll see you guys on the next one